look, we are look cook. Yeah. That's we're going to be girls who, who say the word data as data. Data. It's data. It's total, total. Mm. It's total, though. Yeah. Uh, the original. But the French say different, though. Total. You just came from Blada. Anyway, uh, we, we're doing it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Yo. Can you hear me like tripping just because I'm seated out here with Natasha? Really? Oh man. Stop it. Hi Natasha, how you I'm doing? I'm good, how you doing? It's been a minute. Yes. I haven't mm, no, I haven't interviewed you like since twenty fourteen. Yeah, I think. But yeah. I've seen you somewhere this year. Mm, yes. So what's up? What's mm. going on? Nothing much. Usual, usual. Building mm. myself, working and all that stuff, yeah. So you're an actor as yes. an actress? Yes, an actor. So, uh huh. Yes. That's actually uh, we should uh, talk about this because I've heard like of recent people, uh, females, they just don't hate the word. Uh, they just hate the word actress. Yeah. They also want to be called actors. Yeah, because uh, if if you get down to the word itself, it is actor. Actor is to do the the deed. Like, mm. so actress is like okay, yes, it's supposed to mean the feminine part of everything. But I would think we are all actors. Mm. Yeah, I would also say I'm among the people who just doesn't like that word. I just like being called an actor. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of embracing, um, there's something always that uh, has been popping up, like when it comes to models. Mm -hmm. uh, they say light skinned models always get like much more attention from whoever is, uh, from whoever has a product out mm -hmm. that they need somebody uh, to make um, aware of. What has been your perspective? Because you've been in the industry of modeling and acting for quite a minute. Mm. And I remember, uh, like, uh, is it what? Ten years ago? Yeah. You miss what? Uh, it was Miss MTN, second yeah. runner up. And yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, Cortis. I was. Yeah. Is that, what was so that anyway, Miss Photogenic, all mm. those things. That, let's just leave them. Yeah. Brackets, so, then, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, my perspective has always been um, I would say the industry has yeah. changed a lot. Mm. Honestly, it has. We it is, and it's mostly a perception of how we see things. And it's it's like le, I would give you an example. If a lady enters the room, mm. yeah, it it's not necessarily the co sometimes yes, it's the color that mm. oh the yellowness, and then they're like mm. oh who is she? Mm. But most of the time, what gives a lady uh, like the leeway to do something in the modeling world, mm. it's your confidence and your extraordinary i think i would say character mm. you, you see you have to stand and be able to sell what i'm putting on you or to be able to sell of what I regardless of skin tone. skin skin tone so it's not necessarily the skin tone it's more like the charisma like how do you do it if you enter a room am am i going to turn and look at you am yeah. i going to am i going to be mesmerized by you with the character like how do you carry yourself mostly that's one of the things that makes modeling very like it, it works for girls, mm -hmm. you understand? But if you, oh, you're beautiful, yes, and you're light, mm -hmm. but you have no charisma at all, you enter a room and someone just turns and says, oh, there was a yellow chick who entered here mm -hmm. and there was nothing there, right. or there was a very dark chick who entered this room and there was nothing there, there's nothing, tr tr trust me, there's nothing there. Right. Yeah, so it has changed a lot though. There was a time that was mostly that they would be asking for people who oh can try and oh we can just blame the cameras of those days over <laughs> i would think so <laughs> yeah probably yeah. yes but um what are like three key things like s an aspiring girl that has been watching your journey from when you started i'd yeah. say like you see the one thing you have to have a very strong me your mentality about everything and mm. your interpretation about everything mm. should be you should be very uh, you have a strong character mm. you should not be easily swayed by everything you see and you think oh my god everything is gold mm. you have to be able to analyze you have to be able to understand mm. but uh, with me mostly it's it comes down to character i have always been my character has saved me so much. Mm. You, you understand? With this business, trust me, so many things will be put in front of you. They'll put meat in front of you. They'll put uh, uh, gold, diamond, and everything. It is what you choose mm. to take mm. that gives you something. Makes you stay longer in this business. Right. You understand? Longevity. Yeah. So, honestly, I would say just be strong of character mm. or just be honest to yourself. Mm. Don't 
try and be someone else. Oh, because I see Natasha is like this and I want to be like Natasha. No, just be yourself. Right. Yeah. And uh, another thing is just love yourself enough to know that by the time you've decided to do this, mm. you're that good. Mm. Always just have that mentality whenever you're doing something. Just don't do something and you're like, ah, I'm doing them halfway. Just do a hundred, put a hundred on the table. Mm. That's how you make it. In this right. Business. Yeah. Another one. Um, I don't know. This you choose to talk about or mm. you, you, may, you may disregard it. Mm. Um, one of the girls in the industry uh, just got in her stuff like uh, pictures licked. Mm -hmm. Nudes, of course. But what, what do you think has been like, um, what should be the way of us not having to deal with this problem? Because there's I that thing where they say like, uh, what, what's it with AIDS? Like prevention is better than cure. Yes. So how could we relate that to like the nudes the things? Because like every month at least we have somebody falling victim of that. Yeah, it's because we've decided to let social media rule our lives. Mm. We've decided to live through our own phones. We don't put the phone down anymore and just decide to enjoy the world the way it is. We try, like, you need to see yourself through a filter every day. You need to see yourself, you, to, to actually, to, to, you're trying to make yourself, like, you're trying to convince yourself, this is how I look. Right. And because you see yourself that way, it makes it much easier for you to be able to send pictures like that to someone else. Fall victim. And you understand, and you fall victim to the fact that you don't know the. You may not want the, these pictures out. You, your purpose may be just. I took these pictures for myself. And Adoring I, yourself. Exactly, your but you see the people you send them to. You don't know the people they are. Hidden you don't, agendas. Exactly, you don't know. Maybe they don't even have a hidden agenda, but you don't know the extremes they go to. Mm -hmm. If you piss off this person, let's just say you piss this person off. The best revenge he feels like doing, or she, is licking your nudes. You understand? The simplest thing I would say is just don't do it if you've decided. Mm. Like, just don't do it. Don't try to, to validate who you are by taking pictures like that. Mm. Honestly. And come on, come and back. Uh, yeah, and, and let's understand something about uh, the, the, anything that goes on social media mm. is forever. You can't delete you it. You may delete it off, off your phone, else but somebody else... Like, again. how many people have those pictures? They send them to how many people? Even people who are not in Uganda. So, I would honestly just say, just don't... Just don't do just it. Just don't do it. Just, just... just when the urge comes through, just tell yourself... Eh, stand, just stand in the mirror. Yeah, Take and just and then, and then go to yourself, yourself. I'm, I'm looking good. Fresh. Yes. Because you see yourself every day. In the mirror so i would honestly say don't do it peace yo yeah it's been epic yeah it's been epic <laughs>